Hello and welcome everyone to a new game of the Cultivation Card Game. I'm your host Rockname and we're playing Yisha. Today we're playing Longgeo, Cloud Sick Dragonling, the waifu of the dragons. I hope everyone's having a good time and I'm so excited to continue playing this game. Uh, but honestly, I love the support. I can't help but be appreciative and uh, yeah hopefully we continue and we become even closer and let's go so if anyone is new to the game this is the cultivation card game a mixture between slay the spire and an auto battler you basically get a set of cards and you play them in a certain order and with that order you get much stronger with time so right now we got a few cloud sword and and a cloud sword tur uh, touch and a wind sword. This is good. We could also play giant tiger with light sword, which is 14 damage. So this is 13 damage, and then let's uh, roll a little bit. Oh my god! Oh, I was gonna upgrade it. Oh, it's okay. So this is not the worst start. This is an okay start. It has a, a good amount of damage uh, forward. And we actually try to block something. Yep. Let's see how we play. Mm -hmm. She's going to try to heal and then we'll do 9 damage and she's going to kill us. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that was very close. Early game losing is not fun. Um, I think we'll go with the Alexorus this time. And in her sense of Dragon, draw two more cards in the first round and then draw two more cards again after the first round. Okay. This is good. Let's roll. Oh, wow. We're going into Cloud Sword right now. And we have two, three more to upgrade. I don't think we're using this anytime soon. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Key plus two, three times two, and then nine and ten. So, whether I play it this way or the other way, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna try to block that damage. And let's go. We're ready. So we start with 9 damage, then we go for 11, followed by 6 with 6 defense, and then 8 damage. It's a good start. Let's see. So he gets 2 key here, and then he plays... Oh, he's going into water build. Oh, convenient. It's a water earth build, but we I think we have enough damage to take care of him. Yep. We also have higher cultivation because we start with two more cards and let's see the breakthrough. So we can go with Coral Sword at the beginning of battle, gain the effect the following two times attack will ignore defense. Or add four defense when the card slot. I think uh, ignoring defense is such a strong thing to, to have. Um, This is going to be really good. So, so two sword intent is a, a big buff to the wind sword and uh, yeah well i think this is fine let's uh replace this and see this is uh, just an extra elf we'll keep this aside next turn we can put the flying sword but we do need a key source oh we need a lot of key swords this is also good we can replace the sword slash with contemplate spirit rhythm and these two will come here and move forward. I'll keep the one. This is always nice to have. The first two attacks means usually our first hit. And then followed by the Cloud Sword Fleece. And then we defend six against their damage. We build some Sword Intent so that this deals six damage twice. And now the cycle. Oh, it's a good start. We have a lot of damage. Uh, what do we want? I think Cloud Sword Moonshade or Cloud Sword Step Lightly. These two are always good. 
I don't usually uh, know how to play this properly. So we'll go with getting some attack and some speed in the future. Oh, unrestrained sword is fun, but that's not what we want. <laughs> um, let's see. No, oh, nope. Yep, this is good. Mm -hmm. I think this is fine. Let's uh, roll for a little bit. See what else we can get. This is just straight up nine damage. Hmm. I think maybe if I just put the straight up 9 damage, it would be slightly better, but no problem. So we got 2 sword intent, and we're gonna hit twice. Ouch. We build up some sword intent for this attack. I feel like this is a bit slow, so next time we'll change this out. And uh, we're gonna get a kill again. Our start really strong to be fair, and I think this, this strong start is very useful. Flying sword upgrade. Let's try roll a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. This is an upgrade. Okay, let's see. So this is basically the build now. So three sword intent, and we go forward. We could also do it this way so that. Yeah, we have a little hit here, but we build a lot of sword intent and then we deal 11 damage and that keeps the 5 sword intent that will funnel into this one. Anything here I'd like to change? Hmm. I don't think so. I think this is fine. Um, we can go on with it. So we get 2 sword intent from this one and then 3 sword intent and hopefully that's going to be enough. I should start looking at uh, the other people's build. But so far, I hope I'm good enough. Okay, this is 5 sword intent. He is hitting hard, but next hit is going to be it. Yeah, next hit is going to be it. So we're able to deal five, 55 damage by the end of the run. Let's see, another Cloud Sword. This is perfect now. Um, we could exchange or we could upgrade. Let's exchange this, Breakthrough. Let's see what the Breakthrough is. When taking this thingy damage greater than 18, reduce it to 18. Sure, we'll, we'll just go with the basic for now. Um, okay. Let's just switch things around. This is just a good hit to have. And we'll keep going. Yeah, I think that's fine. We could do it this way because the second hit is going to ignore defense. So getting a hit for 13 is also pretty good. Hmm. Yep. Who are we fighting? We're fighting this guy. I mean, she's also a very hard hitter. I think the 6 defense is going to come handy, but we'll see. Okay, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. Now, this is this logo. We have 6 sword intent here. And now, if he doesn't kill us, we have the kill. Good. A good start. We're still maintaining our lead. This is good for mana. We could play all of this and then switch into Cloud Sword, Spirit Corrosion, and then Raven Spirit. That will help a lot. Am I playing this? No. Let's see if we can get something good. So far, no. Does removing one key make a big difference? Not really. He has 5 key and 4 mana to play with. Hmm. He's gonna try to outheal us, but 
I think we're good. We could get mana in a different way, but that would reduce the amount of sword intent we have. Yeah, let's just keep going for now. We could have two flying fang sword, so uh, the sword intent will continue. Mm, two big hits. He has not attacked us yet. Okay, he's going to start now. Ouch, ouch. And now we're going to be building sword intent so that he gets ruined. 33. Oh, that was a good defensive card. Healing. Wow. He was actually able to come back. We got a few cloud swords and a, a rock chase. I mean, that this looks like a mana build now. Let's just keep rolling and see. Yeah, this looks like a mana build so much. So much like a mana build. Uh, so should we change into a mana build right now? Let's see. We could do it. Do we want to do it though? Let's see. So this goes into this, and this goes here, and this goes here. So we get one extra key from every turn. We could even have this, but this reduces our mana total. I think we went down in damage, but we got some pretty cool interaction in late, late game. Especially the amount of defense this is going to give us, I think is going to be good. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So the two sword intent is going to be applying on the cloud sword and the cloud sword version is going to give us five mana. This is going to become seven. Oh, why is he playing normal attacks at the end? And this becomes 14 defense, which is not bad. I'll keep the Divine Power Elixir. This is Cloud Sword next level. Four times two. We have... Where is it? Hmm. We'll change the Reflexive Sword, of course. Oh god, we got, we got some defensive builds now. Um, do we want to go into a defensive build? Not sure. Okay, Giant Rock level 2, not bad. So basically with uh, Mirror Flower Sword formation, we can put it after the Riven Sword to get a big hit in. We could start with Divine Power Elixir to get some strength. Even this car, these two cars are really good. Especially uh, the Great Rock Spirit Sword will speed up how quickly we move our, across the cards. Especially if we want to kind of ignore, uh, like we need to kill them faster. Like this guy, I think the faster we kill them, the better. I don't think we can out defend her. Yeah, 10 to 21 defense here. Let's see. We decided to go for a chase, which is pretty cool. Chase basically is gonna just uh, speed up our progress. We currently have six uh, poison, eight poison. It's all about whether we can kill her before she kills us. Yeah, she's over dead. I don't think we would have been able to kill her unless we switched places. This goes home. Try peak. Wow. We're back into... <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get rid of this card. I'm gonna go back into Sword Intent again. Because why the hell not? Uh, let's do this. The try pick here. Key plus one for Sword Intent. And... Uh, this goes away. We're not going to go into formation. 
And yeah, let's pick this card. No, I think this is better. So we got a lot of good cards. So three attacks times three. Gain two stacks off regen. And then we could have this somewhere. This is probably better here. One defense, gain two stacks of increased attack damage. Hmm. The sword intent is going to apply on the cloud sword and it's going to give us some regen. I think this is better. I think the earlier the region, the better, so maybe we'll even move it further down the line. Like, uh, we'll get it in the first two hits, like after Moon Cloud Sword. We're just learning a new character, and that's all about it. Um, okay. He's building into a, some sort of healing build. Yeah. We have some healing here and some increased damage, so in a way we can also outscale him maybe. Oh god, please. Ouch. I'm gonna take a big hit here. He's really good. Uh, 29 mana, 26x. Oh wow, this is perfect for us. Uh, let's see. No. I mean, this is always good with uh, other cards. Keep this. No, thank you. We'll keep this for upgrades. We'll, cha we'll, we'll change the Great Rock. Triple Peak. We'll get it upgraded so that it does more damage. We don't need the mana, so having this at the very end is not going to be a problem. This is 12 damage, this is 7. I said I'm gonna move this along so we can use the... Basically, the region a bit earlier. Yep. Let's try to go first, at least. 4 times 2 is not gonna be used anymore. What should I exchange? Let's exchange this card. No, thank you. Oh, thank you again. 11 damage here. This is good. We can finally put it instead of the... I'm not sure where. But it's going to come in handy, especially once we get some chases. Mm. Now we get some two stacks of health regen, so we heal two every turn. That is very hard hitters. Oh, wow. That is a big hit. I'm not sure how things are happening, but we're getting hit hard. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Do I want an extra damage at the beginning? Sounds like I need it though. I think this is... Oh, we can't play it because of the mana. We're going to start first. I will exchange enough cards next turn to upgrade. We're at 45. So let's see if that extra, that extra damage is going to be useful. Okay. 
Ouch. I mean, the Tri-Peak Sword is doing its job, and we're somehow not dying instantly. Moonwater Sword formation is not gonna be the answer here. Let's give this card up, this card up, and the Moonwater Sword information. Yep, yeah, we'll pick up this. This is basically our defense. Oh my god, we just got so much. So much guard stacks. Um, we need mana for it, though. How do we get mana beside this? Actually, there's no better way to get mana beside it. Okay. Oh, where is my card? This is the mana card, yeah. Um, what does the... Still need key, but this one's gonna give us key. And then it's gonna chase. Let's do it this way so we get the sky delegate first we can even put this one here so we'll get three stacks of uh, guard up hmm is this enough maybe we did lose some damage Oh, this is for key, but we're not really using it. See? So we lost some damage, but we got three stacks of guard up in the process. Let's see if that works well. Oh, this lady is healing through our damage, probably. But once she reaches the end, she's going to deal a billion damage. Oh, wow. This is a very early reverse. Mm-hmm. Well, I did. Okay, we got our first guard up and then three guard up this turn. That is actually pretty unique. The way she's playing it is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure how this build happened, but uh, I, I can't believe it. it's even possible. That's pretty cool. Hmm. One, two, three, four mana. Let's see if we can get an upgrade for anything. No, we did not. Uh, we're, we're going for a very defensive build right now, and we're relying on the Cloud Sword, Moonshade, and the Cloud Sword, Prey Rain. Uh, oh wow. I need my uh, guard up really early on. Or uh, not early, at the end, technically. If we can guard up his big hit, it's going to be very useful. Okay. Yeah, 35. Oh my god. Yeah, that was gonna be our dead. He somehow chased twice, and that's the reason we couldn't catch up. This is perfect. So we start with this card now. And this is just basically gonna move things a lot around. And because we're moving things around, I think it's better to have this a bit closer. Hmm. Absorb this. Just 
please uh, another one. Double chasing into triple chasing, I think. Yep. Yeah. See. So we're always gonna injure into Cloud Moon Sword. And then we're gonna chase into Cloud Drain. And then I think. Let's see if we can get something good. Upgrade into this. So we gain four guard ups straight up after here. This is not going to be played. I don't think this is going to play either. No. We'll keep this aside. You get exchanged and let's get some destiny. It's not going to make a big difference. What are we playing? We're playing this guy. Thunder 40%. So we're going to be dead here if we don't do anything. Can we move things along a little bit faster? I don't even know if this is going to play the way I want. Don't think so. Let's see. So he starts with hexagram and extra damage thunder. Then somehow everything is a star power. We're still at 100 and we chase into some key. He gets a bunch of damage and now we get some guard ups. A bunch of guard ups. He did not use our guard up and we chase into the chase again. Ouch. Maybe this is not ideal, but we have four health regen. Okay, then we're chasing into spirit coercion. Somehow it worked out. So gain two stacks of guard up. Just a bunch of guarding. It's so much right now. Uh, let's roll. We'll keep this aside for now. God. Okay. We'll see. We're playing against the same guy somehow. Uh, we're not going to be using this. We'll keep this. We're not going to use this. No. No. Uh, I don't think using the rule sky formation is ideal in this situation. I also think that getting just a bit all more stack ups here and then the second time going we'll just get this chased. Hmm. So this is going to chase this card now. I think this is better. Why am I saying that? Is because uh, in case this chases this card and then eventually this plays long, we get another chase quicker. And at the start of the game, we chase, and then we chase back. And then we have the mana, and then we start guarding up. Let's see if that works. So, we start this way. He gets a bunch of star power. We chase into our region. We get some mana here. Then we go into a bunch of guard ups. Just a billion guard ups. Then we chase again. Yep, perfect. Then another chase into South South Close. I couldn't say the word. I mean, at least. Yeah, this is perfect. At least not. Per at least it's good. It's. I wouldn't say perfect. It's good. Do I want one attack add for key for each? Attack that's been injured. This is also pretty good. Do I want another chase or just 
let's buff buff something up i think that is that will be better uh no let's let's see if we can find something good no let's add one more cultivation so do i want to hit harder where i mean we're not gonna have any key issues which is good let's let's have some defense here We're gonna get three uh stacks of increased attack so this is dealing three times four that's 12 damage that's higher but this is not definite uh stacks we'll give this up we'll keep this just in case we're gonna give this up though this is just a bunch of stacks that are pretty cool and then we can go back let's go Hopefully we get to our guard ups before he destroys us. Let's see how that works. So we start into chase. Then both players cannot chase. That is actually negative for us. But as long as we can get our guard up, every card matters. Okay, he's building a lot of key. And then we got our guard up. Now we have four guard ups and he has a big hit. But... Okay, we protect both our guard ups. Uh, I mean, both pickets. And I mean, it's true that we cannot uh, chase, but we are doing well. We are able to guard at least one more turn, but he's not taking any hits, which is a bit scary. Okay, we're pushing him out of the field, but at some point he's gonna get us. Yeah, he's gonna get us. That is very much of shame. This is third place. Um, it was a good game. Um, yeah, I'll try. It, I'll try it again. But that was a very unique build on his case. Thank you, everyone, and see you next time. And let's play the Dragon Lady again. Bye bye.